I, I'm trying to see how best I can prepare for this step because I want, I want it and I, I'm hungry for this. I'm very hungry for this degree. This is my alternative that I've used to fund myself throughout school. I was a UTEC student, but financial constraint led me to drop out in about my second year. My lifelong ambition was to become a registered nurse. However, it's a bit difficult for me to pursue my dreams in that area because of financial issues and all of that. I'm a donut vendor for about 10 years now and it's not easy on the road. It's very difficult for me, right? There are times when I come out with my goods and not even half of them sell and I have to like give them away and, and all sorts other things because oh, yeah, donut do don't have a lot of uh, don't have a long expiration date on it. So it's very difficult to sell a product like donut. And for me to be doing this for 10 years now it's it's really it's really hard. It's really hard. There is a lot hard. I've been trying in so many areas and to know that I have my qualifications and I wanted to do my nursing degree yeah. for some good while now because I'm a helper. There are many occasions where people in Alpha Tree might faint um, and a seizure attack or things like that and I'm always here to help many many occasions right so them things that build my, my drive my, my my passion for a feel like that and uh, i do have the qualifications it's just the money part i i i, I can't fund myself yeah. in that area so I, I i decided to try to try and get a guarantor to get a student loan so I can pursue that degree. Um, a gentleman reached out to me and told me that he wanted to be my guarantor, but he wanted to see me kind of fund myself in certain areas. So I said, okay. And you were your only support system then, I was selling my donuts? only support system. At that time, I was in, I was to do work and travel, but that didn't work out for me because the agency that I was going on, they actually lost their license, right? They lose the license and I, I didn't get the chance to go to America to, you know, work some funds so I can kind of smooth my, my channel progressing um, the second year corona struck so things became even more tedious for me right and donut is the only thing funding me so and you've never and it wasn't it wasn't sufficient it wasn't sufficient at all because days come that i don't see anything and all of that right you would have to sell off all of the stock to see something and this is a business that i use it's actually me and my mother business my mother introduced me to this business in 2014 right and uh, more time being that she, she's she's a bit sickly, I, I, it me use to really say, all right, me I give her a fair cut and me I take my cut. So 
it's a two-person business and I still have to try to fund myself to school and all of that. And the tuition fee was, was in the 500,000 region a year. And that was very difficult to pay. How much would your tuition be? Then? Now, the tuition fee for nursing is 700,000 per year. Now, with the help of the student loan, that could be dealt with smoothly but it's just a guarantee I don't have, right? And uh, nursing, is a, nursing is a course that it's very time consuming. So I won't get enough chance to sell at all. I don't even, I don't, I won't get any chance to sell. So basically, the student loan is my only alternative. Other than a guarantor, what other help would you be seeking from the public? All right, now, after I post that video, a person reached out to me stating that they want to help. They said, build a GoFundMe page and all of that. Now, being that this degree is a very expensive degree, I, I had to analyze things and be realistic in my approaches. And I, I saw that it's a 700,000 degree. It's a 700,000 tuition fee per year. My, my, page that I, my Instagram page that I have, don't have a lot of followers and all that. So my, my video, I don't think it reach out to to that much people like oh uh, Auntie Dana or uh, Romish or uh, one of them people that could and uh, you know so I know that if I build one uh, if I accepted fund some people or uh, build a GoFundMe page it was it wouldn't be sufficient to fund myself throughout school and I, and I don't want to start and stop and being that a uh, people money I don't want to run the risk.